What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. I haven't done one of these for a long time but it's time to get one started. It's what my everyday carry. So what's in my pockets? What do I take with me on a daily basis? Before I do the what's in my tech bag photography bag when we hit Orlando. Let's go and get this done. Let me show you what's in my pocket. Let's go. Right okay so kicking things off is actually the 11 inch iPad Pro from 2018. As you can see my wallpaper is of course Diagon Alley. If you want to see a what's on my iPad video let me know in the comment section down below. But basically the reason I carry the iPad Pro with me is basically so I can check on YouTube analytics and stuff like that. Anchor, so obviously as you know something's coming soon. I'll be sure to let you know more about that as it happens. Note taking for upcoming videos. I do make a lot of notes on upcoming videos that I want to do. Like you've just seen there maybe. But you never know. Uh, obviously check notifications and stuff. And YouTube, subscribe account at the top, podcasts etc. This is what I take with me. I'm starting to do a lot of photo editing and a bit of video editing on the iPad. So who knows, maybe... It'll become my full-time machine, but not just yet, as I still love the MacBook. But right now, it's got the Apple Pencil 2 with a slick wrap skin on it. And of course, the back of the iPad has also got a slick wrap skin on it. Love the guys from Slick Wraps. They've done a lot of good stuff for me, and I've done a few little bits for them right now. Hopefully, we're going to work together in the future. But it's also in the Apple Folio case, not the smart keyboard. I'm still on the lookout for one of them, but just the Folio. So, it clips in magnetically into there and obviously it just looks a bit slimmer when you fold it over and you're traveling obviously i can stand this up work away and watch some videos watch some content on it next up is my wallet of choice this is a wallet from herschel it's got an rfid blocker on it the main thing is obviously driver's license obviously need that and on the back gym membership club platinum my costco card and of course this front one right here is actually a card from a company called Curve. So as you can see, no numbers on the front, no name, just MasterCard, the wireless contactless, and of course your chip, all your details are stored on the back and of course in the app. Now, if I up this a little bit, the code that you see in right here, if you use that code on the Curve app or on the Curve website and get yourself one of these, you can get £5 and I'll also get £5 if you sign up for one. Great card for while you're abroad and stuff like that. You get no fees on using your own bank account. So my bank accounts are currently stored on this and a credit card. And I don't get no fees, don't get no international charges. And of course with going to Costco a lot, if I decide to spend money in Costco, I can actually use this and pay on a credit card, which you can't normally do. So. Make sure you check out the link down below for Kev, and obviously my code is there as well. Get yourself £5, sign up for Kev, and we both benefit. Next up is my Asmod inhaler. Again, it's got a slick wrap skin on it. However, this was one of the initial ones. This is the first tester that I've done that started slick wraps making these. So slick wraps now make these inhaler wraps. But this is the first one. This was the prototype. It came with a little bit extra material from the iPad and I decided to wrap the inhaler but I've got a couple of more that I've done in the past they're on Twitter if you want to check them out but of course Slick Wraps is also linked in the description down below next up this little guy they always say the best camera is the one that you've got with you and right now this is the one I carry with me on a daily basis this is the Osmo Action I did use the GoPros a lot however this is just a so much better fit for me because while I'm in the car recording, obviously I have flipped the screen. I just hope DJI don't hang about with making us wait for a mic adapter. I wish they would have just used the same adapter that you get with the Osmo Pocket, which I've got as well, but I don't carry it with me on a daily. This is what I bring with me because obviously it goes in the car. I can record and get a few little bits done that I need to and obviously it works great for Instagram stories, especially because I haven't got my original iPhone anymore just yet but more to come on that in a minute the Osmo Action this is what I carry with me okay next up obviously is power now powering all my devices at the minute while I'm out and about is this 13,000 milliamp hour anchor battery pack this comes with me everywhere it's always juiced up ready to go two USBs on the top and of course you're charging one and of course one is actually an IQ one as well but this is just absolutely perfect for traveling it's nice and small it's not too heavy Next up, this 
is the Rode Video Mic Lav Plus and it's got a USB-C dongle attached to it so obviously with the Anchor app that you've seen before on the iPad you can pretty much tell what I've been using this for comes in this lovely Rode carrying case so it's perfect for travelling around nice and small, drawstring, you can pass it to your keys and yeah, so obviously more on this little guy and what I've been doing with it coming soon Next up is earbuds, what I've been using. So these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds that actually came free with the S10, which I managed to get, but the S10 is no longer here, but I do have the Galaxy Buds still. Charges off USB-C, these are absolutely fantastic, the noise is superb, they fit in your ear really nice, but these are what I've been using with me Android device, and of course these are what I've been using with me Apple device, the likes of my iPad and my iPhone and my MacBook as well, obviously the AirPods with the wireless charging case, these are the AirPods 2 and the wireless charging case, obviously you can see the, the off-white night case, obviously it's not genuine but if you want to see more on this I'll leave it linked in the description down below with the rest of the stuff, but AirPods 2, wireless charging case and the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Let's start with the iPhone, so this is what I'm currently using, it's an iPhone 6s in a silicone case, yes it is rose gold but it is just a loan phone, I'm actually borrowing this off someone because I couldn't be without an Apple device I sold my iPhone XS Max in June in preparation for the new one coming out and I'm kind of regretting it I'm looking forward now to the new one coming out, I'm really looking forward to the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, whatever it's going to be but that 11 Pro is going to stay with me for the next two, two years at least because I'm not happy with the way the cycle changes constantly. It's costing a lot of money for the same device. So the next iPhone will be with me for around two years. So expect a lot of videos with that. And you can actually hold me to the fact that I'm going to have it for two years. So if I do end up changing, then, you know, you can hold me to hold me accountable for it. Or maybe I'll give something away if I do end up changing. But iPhone 6s in rose gold, this is what I'm currently using just as a loan phone just so I can stay in the Apple ecosystem for obviously airdrop, iMessage and stuff like that but that's me Apple device as of right now as I film in this video new iPhone on the horizon and last but not least the Android phone of choice the OnePlus 7 Pro I absolutely love this phone and I mean really love this phone, this phone is absolutely incredible obviously if you didn't know too much about it you've got that selfie cam which just pops up the picture quality is getting so much better with all the updates but I have got Gcam on this if you haven't seen the what's on my OnePlus 7 video I'll leave it linked at the very end of this one for you to check out and of course there's a review video, a camera shootout between the OnePlus 7 Pro and Gcam which is on this right now and of course the cinematic, well I don't know where I'm going to do the cinematic just yet but there will be a cinematic video coming soon with the OnePlus 7 Pro so make sure you stay tuned for that. So what do you reckon guys, what do you think of what's my daily carry, you know what I, t what I take with me, what's in my pockets and stuff like that, you know what do you think of it yourself, what do you carry with you, let me know in the comments down below, you'll see a pinned comment at the very top of this video, basically interact with me, let me know what's in your pocket, let me know what you take with you on a daily basis and also I'll feature two comments in an upcoming video so i'll fit at the end of that video i'll start featuring me top comments so let me know in the comment section down below thanks very much for watching guys i truly truly appreciate it if you like this drop a like if you loved it drop a sub notification squad where you're at and i'll catch you in the next one take it easy everyone and i'll see you all soon oh and by the way that blue bit of background that you've seen in the video if you want to know more on that let me know and i'll do a video on that as well Thanks for watching guys, see you all soon.